In this video, we're going to look at how to find evidence-based practice research in CINAHL. CINAHL is the cumulated index to nursing and allied health literature. As you can probably tell by the name, CINAHL is most useful for finding research in nursing, physical and occupational therapy, and other allied health fields. This database indexes journals, dissertations, and other materials. As always, we begin our search by accessing CINAHL directly through the library's website. This defaults to the Advanced Search screen. Advanced Search gives us lots of filter options we can use to find the evidence-based research we need. The first thing you should do is make sure the Suggest Subject Terms box is unchecked. If you run a search in CINAHL and that box is checked, it will give you suggestions to map your search to the standardized terms it uses. If you've never used CINAHL, this is probably going to be more confusing than helpful. I recommend that you don't use it until you feel more comfortable navigating this database. Now, let's look at all the filters we can apply before we even begin our search. Scroll down to the Limit Your Results section and check the Evidence-Based Practice box. That's a great place to start as it's exactly what we're trying to find. Like PubMed, CINAHL also has a Clinical Queries filter, but the options are named a little bit differently. CINAHL allows you to choose high sensitivity or high specificity. Those roughly equate to the broad and narrow limiters in PubMed. High sensitivity will yield more results, but not all of them will be relevant to your topic. High specificity is more targeted to find the most relevant set of results, but it may still miss things. I recommend choosing best balance, which is a blend of those two options. Just below the Clinical Queries box, we'll find a checkbox for randomized controlled trials. If your question is related to therapy, prevention, or etiology or causation, check this box to limit your results to this study type. Other filters in the advanced search are like ones we've seen in other databases, such as publication type. If you want to choose multiple publication types from this drop-down list, such as clinical trials and meta-analysis, Hold down the control button on your keyboard while you click each type you want to select. If you're using a Mac, hold down the command button as you select multiple options. Anytime you see a list like this, you can use the same process to select multiple options. Further down the page, you'll see the special interest box. Evidence-based practice also appears in this list. Choosing it from this menu does the exact same thing as the evidence-based practice checkbox further up the page. There's no need to scroll all the way down here unless you want to apply some of these other filters. For example, this list lets you limit your search to specific populations, such as gerontologic and pediatric care. If you apply too many filters at once, your initial results might be too limited. I recommend starting with just one or two filters applied. See what kind of results you get and refine your search further from there. Remember that searching is a process. If you're not getting results that answer your clinical question, you can always edit your search and run it again. This video covered a lot of information quickly. If you have any questions, please ask us. You can chat with a librarian 24-7, email us, or schedule an appointment to meet with a librarian in person or virtually to help with your research needs. Until next time, happy searching!